Hi guys, so you might remember Lindy, the feral dog who was rescued from a northern community in Manitoba. She's been in foster care for one month now. And just to recap, when she came in to rescue, she was totally terrified. She's never had any human contact before. Lindy was terribly emaciated, poor overall health, and she's made a lot of progress in the past month. There's another video that you can click the link to watch if you haven't seen it already. Those are her first two weeks in foster care. This video is going to give you some before and after images of the first month in rescue so that you can get a sense of how much she's changed and what she's learned being in foster care for one full month. So in this first scene here, you're gonna see Lindy in her kennel having her food and water for the first several days. That was all I could do to get her to eat or drink. I couldn't be anywhere near her. So everything was done in the kennel. Did you see something? No, puppies. She sees the other dogs. Hey, you all done? Okay, I'm gonna take your container. I know you're scared, eh? So I just take that. It's okay. And I put food in it. Okay? Good girl. Good girl. So when you're working with a dog like Lindy, you need to establish trust. And the best way to do that is through food. Feral dogs are very food motivated. And as you can see, Lindy was pretty quick to start coming near me when she knew that food was involved. Just be careful not to overstep and try to do too much too soon. You want some? Look, not for you. Sit. Remember, sit. Lindy. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Now here's a quick little image of how dirty poor Miss Lindy was when she came into rescue. Keep in mind, she'd been outside her whole entire life, never had contact with people. So that means that she had never had a bath. Once I got to know her personality a little bit and I realized that she's not an aggressive kind of dog, I decided to go ahead and give her a bath. And she was pretty good. She's in the corner as you can see, so feeling pretty nervous, but once you get to know the personality of the dog, you get a sense of what exactly it is that you can do at which point in time. Okay, so this one took a few days longer than I thought it would, which was simply getting Lindy to go outside and come back in. Trick turned out to be to give the poor girl space because she just wasn't sure what was going on in her environment. And once she realized that nobody was going to hurt her on her way in or out, she started being more comfortable doing that. Junior. Give her space, Junior. And now, as you can see, she goes outside, no problem whatsoever. And it turns out that little Miss Lindy is the most eager of all the dogs to come back in. You're a huge baby. So here was one that didn't take too long at all to get her to learn, and that was how to play with toys. I found a toy that was a treat dispenser, and she learned how to play in like a day. It was awesome. Lindy know how to play? There's the toy. Good girl. Good girl know how to play.
she ripped it open. Whoa. <laughs> you know, you can just chew them, Lindy, without ripping the stuffing out. <laughs> so when Lindy had her second vet appointment after coming in, I thought I was going to for sure have to put her in the kennel and get help to carry her inside still in the kennel. But as I said earlier, she's really not aggressive. So I went ahead and decided to just carry her. She let me do it and she even accepted some pets on the car ride over. So that was a huge success. And it's all about getting to know the dog and learning where their boundaries are. She did a really good job. So I got Lindy on her leashy. She did not like that. She ran and she hid. But once she gets trapped somewhere under a table today, she goes into freeze. So I get her leash on and then I pet her. I don't know if this is right or wrong but I think it's important that she gets pet every day and has the leash on every day. She's got to get used to that. And then while I was petting her, I got a chance to look at this weird fur patch here. Looks like an old wound under there. Every day we'll do this. Okay, we'll get her on the leash and make sure she's getting pet and not biting. Because when she's loose, she seems to want to bite. Okay. She doesn't know the difference between people and dogs. And I'm holding her head up for better body language and for more confidence. She seems just about done with this. I've been petting her for like five minutes. So I better take her leash off soon. Okay, good girl. And we'll tell you that too. Good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are good. Yes, you are good. See, she let me pet her. She maybe hate it. Hey, she maybe hate it. But she let me pet her. Yeah, I'm in the mushy place. I'm in the mushy place. Hey, Hey. But her language is good. Hey, yours pointing forward, not down. They're up. I think she's a little stressed out, but just keep petting her. Just gotta desensitize her. This is her training session. <clears throat> okay, we're just looking at Lindy's, got a weird patch of fur here. And when I took a look at it, it looks like there was a hole here. Like that skin under there is totally a different color, like scar tissue. And I feel like she must have had a big gaping wound here at some point because her other fur, her skin, I mean, isn't like that. It's all normal and pink. And then you get into here. See? It's... So whether someone shot at her or stabbed her, Maybe dog fight, but it looked like a pretty big wound. It's okay. So I got to wondering because this dog has really good behavior. She doesn't really seem all that wild to me. I wondered, is she really wild or has she just not had any human contact? So she let us do a DNA swab and we're currently waiting on results of her DNA test. I'm pretty sure it's going to come back that she's 100% dog some sort of husky mix, but we'll keep you updated when we find out. Goes in the mouth. Another really cool thing that happened was that Lindy really bonded to one of the other dogs in the home. And this other dog, Foxy, has been totally instrumental in rehabilitating Lindy. They are the best of friends, love being close together, and it's really nice to see. <laughs> Look at you guys. Good girl. Take the pets. Good girl. Very good. Oh, good girl. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, mother's filming me. <laughs> Lindy. 
You're so cute. You're so cute. So Lindy is learning basic commands, learning how to sit is the most important one. I don't really want to put my hands on her hips and push her bottom down, so I'm using a verbal command. It's inconsistent at times, but she's really open to other kinds of touches. I made sure to touch her, her paws and consistency is the key. So getting her to do sit every day, touching the paws every day, leash on every day, getting lots of pets every day. And over time, she's learning the routines and doing great. You didn't cut it? Oh, almost. Almost wasn't good. Oh, don't be good. That's a good girl. Would you like a treat? And that treat? Are you sitting? And then shake a paw? And then shake a paw. Shake a paw. Good girl. Shake a paw. That's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Shake a paw. Give me that paw. Come on, give me that shake a paw. That paw? No, that's not the shake paw. That paw is the shake paw. Give me that paw. Do it. Do it. Give me the shake. You know. Give me that shake. Yeah, come on. Shake a paw. Come on, do it. Shake a paw. Yeah, good girl. You did shake a paw. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> you want to try? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fox is so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you have to show her while she's learning. You have to like take the paw and say, "Good shake, good shake." Give her the treat, and while you shake a paw, okay? They shake a paw. Give her the treat while you shake a paw. <laughs> use her other paw. Switch hands. Use her other paw. Shake a paw. Shake a paw. Good shake a paw. Good shake a paw. Good girl. Good girl. So Lindy had another vet appointment and I took her all by myself. She did awesome on the car ride. We were in the waiting room longer than we expected. So I decided to fool around with treats and put them on her paws. She's really tolerant of little games. So it was kind of nice to see that she could uh, be silly while we were waiting for the vet. So Lindy has gotten totally accustomed to being in a house with other dogs. As you can see, she's playing with both of the big dogs. You're going to see that she doesn't run away when I'm walking by. I used to get up and she would take off immediately. She jumps on the couch to sit with me and she was even okay with me playing games with my feet in the blanket. She didn't run. So she's doing awesome. I have no doubts that she's going to be a great dog for a special family who has the patience and love to continue her training and give her the best life that she can have. Coincided with eyewitness reports. The bow of the ship. Did you mention something about a collision or something like that? I felt a collision. I see. I felt it. So there you have it, just one month in foster care and Lindy has integrated with the pack. She's doing fantastic with her training. She trusts her humans. If you're thinking about making a difference in a dog's life, consider adopting a dog like Lindy. Thanks for watching.